Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's uh, June 24th, 2019. Hope you're having a wonderful day. A blessed day indeed. I want to talk about the U.S.-Iran situation because uh, just because it's getting quieter does not mean that the situation is getting better. All right. Today, Trump uh, passed more sanctions, severe, strict sanctions against uh, Iran, against the Ayatollah himself, against uh, Zarif, uh, their prime minister, foreign minister, uh, rather, uh, situation is not getting better, okay? We're also learning that a cyber attack occurred uh, from the United States of America uh, towards their ballistic missile program and systems, all right? Now, this is big, all right? Uh, we know that Donald Trump was around, uh, uh, he was about to strike Iran and then pulled off. I don't know if I completely believe uh, the reasoning behind it uh, or why it was done. Uh, or it happening 10 minutes before the strikes were to commence. Uh, but uh, th that in itself is big. That shows Iran that uh, the U.S. is willing to act, okay? Um, Iran has uh, so far not really showed any uh, sort of will to want to talk, all right, to be brought to the table. Uh, when President Donald Trump took back those orders to strike, uh, he, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable, all right? Uh, I fully believe right now that uh, there's certain people out there in the world that want a war against Iran and that uh, that will be the next big war to occur, okay? Uh, Iran today came out and stated that they are going to continue to target uh, aircraft that uh, violate their airspace uh, and that uh, they've already shot down such a sophisticated drone from the United States of America that they could do it again, all right? Now, a lot of people are looking to two dates. Uh, June 27th, which is only three days away, uh, that's when uh, Iran is supposed to start enriching uh, uranium once again. And then July 7th, July 7th is when uh, they leave the nuclear deal with Europe, okay? Uh, very serious situation. Uh, if I was to think or was to theorize what would happen, I've been talking to Endgame World War III about this. Uh, what if Saudi Arabia and Israel were to attack Iran once they start enriching uranium? Or after July 7th when they leave the, uh, leave the deal with Europe? Okay, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. We saw a lot of major uh, war exercises happening in Israel, okay? Uh, Saudi Arabia has been attacking uh, the Houthi rebels, which are a proxy for Iran. That whole Yemen war is a proxy war between Iran and Saudi Arabia, okay? Very serious situation. I don't know what's going to happen next. A lot of people are saying false flag. Look for Iran to hit more tankers. Look for Iran to hit more U.S. aircraft. And, and then at that point, all gloves are off. But we are on extremely thin ice right now. Big, big things are going to happen. All right. We need to say a lot of prayers. Uh, it, it's not going to be good. It's going to get messy. I mean, let's say Iran does something. Shoots down another U.S. drone. We strike Iran. What happens then? Iran's very close with Russia. Iran's very close with China. And there's so many different hotbeds happening around the world. Okay? You've got the Ukraine. You've got the South China Sea. You've got China and uh, Taiwan. Uh, U.S. and North Korea, which uh, looks like maybe it's getting better. But at this point, we really don't know. The North Koreans are very good at buying time. And they've bought the last year. You know? where they could continue to make nuclear weapons, they could continue to up their defense. So there's a lot of hotbeds going on. If a war happens between the U.S. and Iran, and, you know, I've heard so many commentators on the media who have uh, criticized President Donald Trump for not striking Iran last Friday. And they kept saying, uh, you know, that just because we hit them with a limited strike doesn't mean we're going to war. I think that's a bunch of BS. All right. If we hit Iran, they're going to respond. Okay. They're not just going to respond with the IRGC. They're going to respond with their proxies all across the Middle East. Okay. Hamas, Hezbollah, they're going to start attacking Israel. Houthi rebels are going to intensify their attacks against Saudi Arabia. And the IRGC is going to do the same thing. They, are, they have groups inside Afghanistan, Iran, uh, even a Africa. Okay. And they will use all of those proxies to attack U.S. and its allies. 
So I think that if you strike Iran, get ready for a war. Get ready for a long war, all right? This will not be something that's quick. It won't be a limited strike, and then they're, they're done. They're brought to the table. Their whole entire ideology is, you know, anti-America, and it has been since 1979, okay? You know, I, I just don't think a limited strike is in the cards unless you really want a war with Iran. And there's people within the administration who do. Uh, Bolton, Pence, and Pompeo apparently all favored military action, and Trump was, was the only one who called it back. Okay? So if we do strike Iran, uh, you know, big things are going to happen. And uh, do not be surprised if in the next week you see that Iran strikes some more tankers or uh, shoots another drone or aircraft out of the sky. All right? I, I mean, people are pushing pushing things behind behind the curtain that we are not seeing. As more information about comes out, we'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. Grab a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies. God bless.